This situation brings to mind broader discussions around protests, where people often feel uneasy about disruptive or even violent protests. I'm genuinely stunlocked that they just come out and say it. There is a petition on change.org. I don't begrudge anyone making a petition. I don't begrudge anyone requesting something. Okay? If you really, really want in a game with a character creator for there to be an option to say, I want my character to be recognized as having they then pronouns, go ahead and ask for it, okay? Even put a petition together. Sure. Just, I humbly request that if you're going to do that, don't be insane and agonizingly cringe. That's all I ask. Anyone can ask for anything. It's fine. Get together and maybe show a dev how many people want that thing. Cool. Maybe the dev will decide, oh, this is worth adding. That's fine. Don't be cringe and insane. Is all I would request if you do that. I don't think my request or my desire has been respected, though. Let's see. This is a change.org petition demanding the pronoun options for trans and... Isn't that just having he and she? Does Stardew Valley have pronoun options whatsoever? You choose, you choose man or woman, right? Which is then connected. Do they want you to be able to choose man with other pronoun? But it doesn't lock... It doesn't lock cosmetics, so it doesn't really... We'll fire it up. We'll look at the petition and then we'll fire the game up and do character creation and see what's up. They want pronoun options for trans and non-binary players in Stardew Valley. 8,305 people signed it out of a goal of 10,000 for their, for their next threshold, I guess, the next benchmark. 146 people signed this week. They have the, uh, <laughs> the new, not quite the newest pride flag, but a pretty new one. It's got, uh, the trans flag. It's got brown stripe for brown people. It's got the black stripe for black people and AIDS. Look it up. The black stripe is for black people and victims of AIDS. Uh, and then the classic rainbow. And here's the video from the top supporter. Hey, this is Juice Tex, and I just wanted to ask if y'all could take a little moment to sign this petition to add gender-neutral or non-binary options into the Stardew Valley. No, I don't have that kind of time, sorry. I know that mods exist, but some people play on the Switch where you can't install mods, so it would be great. The most oppressed group of people? Trans Switch owners. Non-binary Nintendo gamers. The most... Gamers? I, we thought they were the most oppressed. No. Non-binary Nintendrones. Lowest on the totem pole. Lowest on the progressive stack. Great to get them into the next base game update. So, yeah, if you could take a moment to click the link and sign the petition. Thanks. Little bit of a spoiler. They didn't get this update in the latest, uh, they didn't get this change in the latest update. The latest update is out, and it just did not happen. Uh, but what did they want to happen specifically, and why? So this petition was started by Atmos Fierce. Seven years ago, Stardew Valley changed everything for indie gaming. This farming simulation game created by Eric Barone, Eric Baroni, I don't know, aka Concerned Ape, is often said to be one of the greatest games of all time. It is a master. It, Stardew Valley is great. Okay, that sentence that is unnecessary levels of glazing. Okay, just stop. It is a master. Huge fan base selling over two, uh, twenty million copies. There is a huge problem with the game, though. Huge. One of the greatest games of all time, said by many constantly but it also has a huge problem. When starting a new farm, you are tasked with creating a character. But there are only two gender options to choose from. I don't know if I feel safe reading the rest of this. <laughs> this excludes non-binary players from feeling fully represented in their gameplay. So, make a character. Do make-believe. Pretend. Forcing them to select between being referred to as he or she throughout their entire gameplay experience. This is the thing I found weird. I've only played like 50 hours of Stardew. Looking at my Steam stats, I have played 49 and a half hours of Stardew Valley. 
It's been a while since I played Stardew Valley. How often do people refer to you in the third person in Stardew Valley? I genuinely can't remember it happening. I might have to fire up the game and see if it happens. But all my memories of characters talking is directly to me. So either using my name or saying you. For many trans and non-binary players, the gendered language in the game can feel incredibly disheartening and invalidating, causing feelings of dysphoria when misgendered while they are playing. Stardew Valley can never misgender you. As far as I'm aware, the game never has a character address you the player. Only your character is addressed by other characters. Your puppet that you interact with the game with is referred to. This isn't true. This doesn't actually happen. The point at which you're saying these characters talking to my character is misgendering me is the point at which you are already doing make-believe. The character in the game isn't you. You're doing make-believe. Do one step further make-believe. Just pretend they said they. If you're playing on Nintendo Switch and you can't mod the game, literally just pretend if anyone ever refers to you as he or she or refers to your character as he or she, literally just pretend they said they. Solved. Problem. You're welcome. <clears throat> Sorry, hold on. 2S, that's two spirit, right? LGBT, QIA plus uh, players deserve to, deserve to see themselves represented to the fullest extent in their game. It's not your game, it's Concerned Apes game. You just have a license to play it. And why is me being represented in a game, like, isn't a good or bad thing. It's just a thing there can be. It's not a civil rights fight for me to be shown in a video game. Demented. Like, it's an illness to need this. If you need this, you are ill. You are sick. The gender neutrality mod is available for players on PC and has over 40,000 downloads. But with the game available on many platforms that don't allow modding, a change needs to be made to the base game so that everyone can feel represented. Why? It makes me so upset. It makes me ill. It makes me feel sick that I can't create a, a copy of myself. I can't insert myself as some sort of demented homunculus into every game I play. Games need to change. No! You're just crazy. You're just f messed up. With the 1.6 update currently being worked on, now is the perfect time to make a change like this to the game. I truly hope that this change can be made for the sake of all the amazing queer Stardew players. <laughs> That'll never not feel like an insult who I have had the pleasure of encountering in this community. You are seen, you are valid, and I hope that this petition shows you Victims of one of the softest, chillest games of all time, Unite. Folks, this is going to shock you. Um, they didn't. Or uh, Concerned Ape did not add new gender options. Did not add pronoun options independent of sex or gender of your character and character creation. Nothing changed on that front. And Queerly B has produced a 17-minute video asking, Why weren't pronouns added to Stardew Valley in 1.6? Why? 8,000 people demanded it and basically said, You're evil for not doing it. Why didn't he do it? If we call you evil, you have to do what we say. Now, I'm thinking I'm going to fire up Stardew for like a couple seconds real quick. I just want to refresh... Uh, t trigger warning! Trigger warning! Non-inclusive character creation. Alright, you click new game. Ah! 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 There's male and female! Oh, fuck! Right. So this is the character creator screen that is unacceptable. This screen, being like this, causes people just indescribable agony. It makes them feel invalidated. They need a neutral option. They need like a, a trans option. 
But my understanding is, like, you can see that this goes slightly different, right? Like, what's the difference? The hands are different? You can be a few like, all, all of the customizations are for everyone. So these people are being traumatized by... Maybe a handful of times you're referred to in the third person? I can't remember. And a two pixel or so sprite difference. A bit more because of the shape of the feet. My brothers and sisters in Christ. By saying that this character is you, you're already playing make-believe outside of the game, outside of the scope of the game. That character in the top left is not you. If you can make-believe that the character is you, make-believe that they said they instead of he or she. If you're too soft for Stardew Valley, I don't- I don't know what to say! I've made a black woman with a beard and lots of hair. Um, her name is, uh... Erica? Farm name? It doesn't matter. Taiwan. Favorite thing? Yapping. Prefers cats. So this character is about as far away from me as you could possibly be. And yet I went into the game. How did this happen? How am I not suffering immense trauma from this? I'm interacting? Ah! Ah! I'm cutting the grass! Ah! My dysphoria! Ah! Ah! I'm playing a character that doesn't look like me! My masculinity is invalidated! Ah! Shut the fuck up. Anyway. People were shocked to learn that Bored Ape... Concerned Ape? No, Bored Ape is the NFT thing. Concerned Ape didn't do everything they demanded. And I believe Queerly B... You may sub to if you wish. Queerly B is going to go over Concerned Ape's failures. I have not pre-watched this. I have not pre-watched this. But... Who does... Who does she look like? Hang on. I need to... Wait a second. This is XP to level 3? Doesn't this just look like XP to level 3? On hormones? With different glasses? Or maybe just because all fat people look the same. A little bit of Ethan is online vibes? But it's because of the glasses. I believe these are exactly the same glasses Ethan is online and all those people have. I'm aware of the eye. Please don't be mean about the evil eye. Whatever you call it. The lazy eye? Is the lazy eye is probably offensive, but not as offensive as me calling it an evil eye. Um, don't be rude about this person's- wait, are they a they? I'll call them a they, whatever, I don't care. Um, don't- don't be mean about their fucked up eyeball, okay? Amblyopia is the medical term. Okay. I'm sure the- I'm sure the eye works better than my eyes do, though. As of March 25th, 2024, a mm -hmm. petition calling for pronoun inclusion in Stardew Valley has garnered 7,300 signatures. On March 19th, 2024, Concerned Ape, the developer of Stardew Valley, released the 1.6 update for the game. Player oh, we have a timeline. Players who signed the petition were hoping to receive confirmation from Concerned Ape that the pronoun update would be included in the one- The pronoun update! Confirmation that the pronoun update would be included. Has it even been suggested by Concerned Ape that that's a thing? They're talking about it as if it's guaranteed to happen. Has Concerned Ape addressed this in any way whatsoever? Point six update. Unfortunately, we now know that it wasn't. And today we're going to be oh. doing a deep dive into this. A deep dive! A deep dive into us being ignored. Right. Do you want to know something cool? In the very petition that has 8,000 signatures, they recognized that the game sold 20 million copies. How significant is 8,000 signatures, even if you are all players of the game? Story. But before we do, let me introduce myself. Hi, hello, hi. Welcome or welcome back. If you're new here, my name is B. I use they, them pronouns, and I am a queer and disabled cozy games. You use them. I use every pronoun, but what do you want me to refer to you with? Ha 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 ha. I hate, I hate the terminology. I'll say it every time. I hate when people go, I use these pronouns. No, you, you, you should use all of them depending on context. Who or what's being referred to. And lifestyle? It's like video game brain. They view the pronouns they want to be referred to with as if you do character creator in real life. I selected they them pronouns in real life character creator. Creator here on YouTube and over on Twitch. 
Oh, the pronouns you referred to me with? Not really my fucking business. Like, if I have a... <laughs> if I have a problem with how you refer to me, maybe we'll clash or something, but... It's up to you, brother. If I come off as a chick to you... Weird, weird perspective, but... Call me she, her, whatever the hell you want. Cozy Games. This little intro is way too long. Before we proceed, I'll provide a summary of the petition's content in case you haven't read it. Also- I feel like, look, you can of course have your avatar be however you want. I'm not really a pink and blue robot, but I have an avatar that's a pink and blue robot, right? If I was gonna do an avatar that was like a cartoon version of my face, and I had, uh, what is it, amblyopia? You better bet my eyes pointing off to the side. I want to give a shout out to my friend Atmos at Atmos Fierce for initiating the petition. If you're a fan of Stardew- Oh, Atmos Fierce isn't the person in the video on the page, okay. I know, I know they said they were like Juice Slayer or something. But I thought maybe they went by multiple. In other cozy games, make sure to follow Atmos. The petition addresses a critical issue within Stardew Valley. Critical issue within Stardew Valley? No, it doesn't. It addresses something you guys want. It's just something you want. The game could only let you be like a non-binary transoid. And I'll be fine too. That's not a critical issue. This farming simulation game created by Eric Barone, aka Concerned Ape, is often hailed as one of the greatest indie games, having sold over 20 million copies and Why aren't you reading it verbatim? Are you an H Bomber guy fan and think you're not allowed to quote things now? You can just you can just read it verbatim. You're saying who wrote it. Also, it's a petition. Atmospheres wants this to be spread. Massing a huge fan base. However, there's a significant problem regarding gender representation in the game. When starting a new farm, players are limited to choosing from only two gender options, which excludes non-binary players and prevents them from fully immersing themselves in the game. This lack Immerse? Why can't you just roleplay as a dude or a chick, though? Grow the- Grow the vegetables! Go in the cave, kill some bats! Representation can lead to feelings of dysphoria for many trans and non-binary players. While the gender neutrality mod offers a solution for PC players with over 40,000 downloads, the game's availability on platforms that don't support modding necessitates a change in the base game to ensure inclusivity. Hey, why can't I just say stupid things on the internet all day? Hey, I would never grow a turnip. This game isn't representing me. For my culture. At the time it was made, the petition argued with the 1.6 update currently in progress that now was the opportune time to implement such a change. Given the significant number of players signing the petition and downloading the gender neutrality. What is going on? Is this one eye on the petition, another eye on a thesaurus? Mod, it's evident that there is a pressing need for this change. However, to our disappointment, no, Concerned Ape remains silent on the matter. It is hard to argue that Concerned Ape has not seen the petition, especially considering his active presence on social media. He's yeah, I told you not to. I'm allowed to do whatever I want. On my stream, I am God! Just so you know. Known for responding to tweets about various player concerns, even those related to niche bugs. Despite bugs. Yes. Bugs. Despite amassing over 1.2 million followers. Hey, why would a dev want to avoid engaging possibly about I don't, who knows if concerned ape is even avoiding it um but if they are actively avoiding it hey why might someone want to avoid engaging with gender weirdos on the internet do they have a history of being absolutely utterly insane and demented and dangerous hmm curious worse he has maintained accessibility as a game developer considering the number of people tagging him with the petition on the same account that he's generally responsive on, it's reasonable to assume that he's at least aware of it. Additionally, I've heard reports Maybe. from attendees asking him about the issue at his Stardew Valley Orchestra concerts, and this further suggests that he's aware of the request but has chosen to stay silent, which is disappointing for me as a trans and gender non-conforming player and content creator. I do believe that we should extend a bit of understanding considering Stardew- Hey, already coming out with the like, I'm a victim of this video game type language. Me, as the most oppressed individual in the world, is being damaged by this, sir. Uh, I am being damaged by this, and he's aware. You could give benefit of the doubt while it was possible he was ignorant, but now he knows. <sighs> Mental. Valley's age and the extensive dialogue already present in the game. However, what bothered me was the abundance of subtle dialogue changes I noticed in the 1.6 update. And I'm only in summer, year, one. Let me be clear, I appreciate the dialogue improvements, they breathe more life into the characters, they enrich the game's lore and storytelling, but I couldn't shake the thought that while Concerned Ape invested- Damn, I thought it was a major issue that was like, rocking you to your very core, how are you able to play it? Seems like it's fine. Seems like it's fine for you to play. ...to time in refining the dialogue, he seemed reluctant to allocate the same effort for updates benefiting trans and gender non-conforming players. At this juncture- Benefiting trans and gender- 
hey, maybe there are also non-trans people who would... Like, why are you... It's weird that they're also selling it short. You could argue, hey, it would make it better for people who want to roleplay as, like, a non-binary or something. Just add more stuff that could be good for anyone. But it has to be, I'm a victim of this game not having the option. It has to just be that. Because it's about them. Sure, the silence and apparent reluctance to make these change feels deliberate. For myself... Yeah, he doesn't want to deal with you weirdos. <laughs> to be clear, you're not... Oh. <laughs> It's not about the I, okay? It's not because you say you're non-binary or whatever. It's because a lot of you are really crazy. The ones you hear from are, like, really crazy. The loudest. Personally, I'm not making definitive statements. I lack proof, and I don't intend to label Concerned Ape. How proof of what? Proof of Concerned Ape not doing what you tell him to? Proof of deliberately ignoring some weirdos on the internet. Oh no, he's guilty of ignoring internet randoms. However, by not communicating directly with his community, it leaves the audience to interpret- 20 million units sold, 8,000 people. Sign the petition. Do the maths. That's not not engaging with his community. It's not even not engaging with his customers his actions or lack thereof on their own. The absence of communication has ignored- Tim, guess how many hours in Stardew Valley they have. This is at least 10,000 hours played. Do we know? Are we going to be told? This is their review? 484 hours played. I would never in a million years guess that number of hours. Substantial debate on Twitter with individuals holding varying opinions on whether or not it's appropriate to question the potential involvement of transphobia in his decision. <laughs> you want something in a game, it's related to, ooh, ooh, it's related to one of the alphabet people types. I'm gonna phobiaism you, change your toy, make your toy more enjoyable, or you're a hate crimer. Shut up. Shut up. Of ...on their own. The absence of communication has ignited a substantial debate on Twitter with individuals holding... Substantial debate on Twitter. Not a serious... being. ...varying opinions on whether or not it's appropriate to question the potential involvement of transphobia in his decision not to implement this update. I'll touch on these discussions in a general sense as I've encountered valid viewpoints from creators I admire on both valid sides. Viewpoints. My aim is to present these perspectives neutrally and then afterwards offer my opinions. Present them neutrally. Okay, I'm just gonna neutrally present you with all these people saying this person is mega evil. I'm just gonna present a million messages calling him super evil neutrally, and then I'll weigh in at the end. All right, then I'll weigh in at the end. How many hours do I have in Kovacs? Um, so Kovacs is an aim training game. You just click some red dots in various scenarios, and it's designed to just make you more comfortable aiming at things in a 3D space. I have 5,609 hours in that game. You do not have to agree with me, but please be respectful. Some argue that given Concerned Ape's likely awareness of the request and his active choice to avoid the topic, we should consider the possibility of transphobia influencing his decision. Others caution against rushing to this conclusion, suggesting there may be alternative reasons for his silence. Didn't want to deal with that. Didn't want to deal with you people. Not transphobia, you weirdophobia. There's a difference. There's a difference. There's a difference between the, the idea of an identity itself and the actual individuals who claim that identity, okay? They advocate for a positive and non-confrontational- Was I idling in the game? Overwhelmingly, yes. Yes. I used to leave the game on pretty much 24-7. <laughs> but it's funny that I have that many hours in it. ...educational approach to persuade him or exert pressure for the update, rather than resorting to greater levels of disruption. Well, I do agree that I do not want concern- to Let persuade him or exert pressure oh. in suggesting there may be alternative reasons for his silence. They advocate for a positive and non-confrontational approach to persuade him or exert pressure for the update, rather than resorting to greater levels of The update! The update! They're saying it as if it's already something conceived of and would be implemented in a particular way. In their mind, they're trying to manifest this. 
We need to pressure him into doing this exact update we want in the game. If you can imagine exactly what you want it to be, exactly how the text should be, you don't need it to be made. You've got it. It's in your head. You, it's already done. What's the point of having it there? Other than, I don't know, some weird warped ego reason. Disruption. Well, I do agree that I do not want Concerned Ape to be harassed or bullied. I don't personally believe that merely asking the question whether or not transphobia might be a factor in his lack of communication equates to harassment or bullying. It's worth Sure, but it does paint a picture of you. It does make you look like a certain way. It does make it look like you're, you're toying with the idea. It could come off even as an attempt at a threat. Worth considering that Concerned Ape is a single developer, not a large company, but at the same time, his estimated net worth from Stardew Valley exceeds $45 million. Okay. I don't know about you, but personally, I find it challenging to empathize with millionaires. <laughs> okay! Right. I can empathize. Imagine you have $45 million in the bank. Could you give a shit about 8,000 people trying to tell you to do something with your digital toy? 8,000 people are saying, change your digital toy or you're evil and you have $45 million. Especially given that he could therefore afford to hire assistants with his game, but chooses not to. That's cool. That's one of the coolest things about Stardew Valley, that it's just Concerned Ape. Do you even like the whole thing? Do you not find that neat? It's neat that he's not doing that. I think it's really cool that he doesn't do that. What the hell? He has $45 million, which means he could afford to hire people, uh, to hire a team, and then put me in charge of that team, and then have me make a really cool game where I'm the main character, and I would be a pony called... <laughs> <laughs> such as sensitivity readers or coders who could help oh god he could uh, he has 45 million dollars he could hire a sweet baby <laughs> i'm gonna throw up dude help facilitate this essential update although it's not essential at all my g he sold 20 million copies Tagging him directly on his personal Twitter account may cause discomfort for some. It's concerned Ape himself who has established this as the main form of communication. Okay. I do think so, it's- yeah, true. Atting him, who cares? It's reasonable to pose the question as to whether or not transphobia is involved in his choice to be silent. As a community, trans individuals often face disappointment from those we once trusted, including friends- Friends, family, sure. Some guy who made a digital toy you can play with is not in a similar category. Why are you trusting some random guy who made a toy that you play with? That's mental illness unrelated. Hmm. PC take is unrelated to your, <laughs> to your identity, okay? Family, creators, and game developers who may harbor ignorant or- Sorry! What was that list? in his choice to be silent. As a community, trans individuals often face disappointment from those we once trusted, including friends, family, creators, and game developers. Friends, family, creators, and game developers. What a fucking list. What a list. Who may harbor ignorant or hostile attitudes towards us without us knowing until something like this comes up. There something like this. Hateful or ignorant attitudes towards you until something like this comes up. Not having what you wanted added to a video game. Therefore, questioning the potential involvement of transphobia could be viewed as a valid form of self-preservation. While there are- Self-defense against Stardew Valley. Other forms of queer representation in Stardew Valley, which some may argue as a reason to assume it's not transphobia, I don't believe this is a fair comparison. It is what not uncommon for individuals to be accepting of the broader queer community while disregarding the needs of trans individuals themselves. What needs? The need 
Moreover, I believe that advocating for a peaceful approach and solely relying on petitions overlooks the reality that trans players and their allies have been using this strategy for an extended period of time without any response. Concerned Ape being a person of significant power, privilege, and wealth has been- Significant power? To do what? What has Concerned Ape done? Been ...granted ample opportunity to address community concerns peacefully, but has opted- To address community concerns peacefully? This is getting into threat territory. Not to do so. This leaves players with a limited options. Either disengage from the game and withdraw support due to his communication failures, or sure. adopt more assertive measures in protesting his actions. More assert- He had a chance for peace, and our only option is to stop playing the game or be more assertive. It's a game where you make a little cute sprite and then you go around farming and like you can have your little your li character can have a little relationship and you can fish. Insane. I did not expect the level of madness to be this high, this fast, this hard. Considering the substantial number of trans players who deeply appreciate and support Stardew Valley, it seems reasonable to explore more dis- Seems reasonable to suggest that such an update isn't that important because they're able to enjoy it as it is. That's a counterpoint to needing this. Disruptive methods to capture his attention and prompt him to speak up. More disruptive than what? Direct communication and petitions? What are you gonna do? <laughs> what are you suggesting? They're hammering out the justifications that are like, Oh, Concerned Ape's rich, Concerned Ape's privileged, blah blah blah. Concerned Ape had a chance for peace. Now we need to be more disruptive abandoning a beloved franchise. I think it's unfair that trans individuals should feel compelled to exit communities that fail to accommodate them, especially given the scarcity of inclusive- It's a toy. It's a toy. Accommodate you. You don't even need to be able to make a trans character as a trans person. That's not real. That's not actually something you need. Anyway, this is all- all of its nonsense. It's- fundamentally nonsense and even if you accept the fundamental claim that it's needed by them doesn't matter not entitled to a toy <laughs> being tweaked for your pleasure spaces where we can freely exist without confrontation or exclusion it's not uncommon for us to have to fight for our place in spaces this situation brings to mind broader discussions around protests where people often feel uneasy about disruptive or even violent protests I'm genuinely stunlocked that they just come out and say it. Violent protest against a guy not putting a pronoun option into a digital toy. The votes of these people are worth as much as yours. Possibly even more. Obviously, in this case, we're not talking about violence, but... But... Yeah, okay. I think it's important to remember that... More disruptive protests often are the catalysts for meaningful change. Well, peace- Yeah, if you make someone scared for their life, they'll do what you want. This is a euphemism for saying, if, you, if, we, make, if we make Concerned Ape afraid, he'll do what we want. Do you understand that that's what you're saying? Are you, do you understand that that's what's being said here? Peaceful protests do hold value. It's crucial to not overlook the reality that they haven't always yielded results especially considering the long-standing efforts of the trans community in this regard already. Peaceful protest of this video game doesn't work. It needs to be non-peaceful. I don't mean violence, okay? I just mean disruption. Ultimately, I don't believe transphobia is the sole explanation for concerned ape silence. Wow, They're incredible. How, ch how charitable of you. There could be various other factors at play, making it unjustifiable to make a definitive statement like labeling him as 100% definitely transphobic. However, I nice zoom. personally think posing the question and utilizing methods like tagging him in posts to apply pressure are valid okay. actions. They you represent a that. form of community-driven accountability. Are you a moron? This person said all that to justify tagging Concerned Ape. This is- okay. They're part of communities and the people they're in with would consider, like, tagging someone harassment. So to justify tagging something 
or tagging a person on Twitter, they have to go as far as referring to violent protest to justify tagging someone, which means that your justification for tagging someone on Twitter ends up sounding like you're calling for a lynching. Good God. Just say, I really want this. Keep tagging him until we get a response. Signaling to concerned ape the expectations of those who engage with his game. Again, I want to reiterate my respect of those who engage with his game. Queerly B, 8,000 signatures, 20 million copies. Do the maths. You are not those who engage with his game. You are an, a tiny, tiny fraction of a fraction of a fraction of people who engage with his game. For alternative perspectives that we're advocating for a more peaceful approach. But I did also want to share my own viewpoint. Let's maintain a respectful dialogue when discussing differing opinions on this. Okay, changing gears a little bit. I want to okay, talk about right. the feasibility of these changes. So as someone not involved in game development, I can't definitively comment on the feasibility of these changes. However, based on what I've gathered, I believe they could have been achievable with this update. The 1.6... What bizarre comment? They could have done anything with this update. What do you mean? Hypothetically, the Stardew Valley could have been made 3D with this update. Do you mean reasonably done? This update brought about significant additions such as a new farm type, a world map for Ginger Island, NPC updates, home renovations, extra content for pets and animals. This is an argument against including it, though. If you're going to say, I think this could have been included because look at how much else is included, Oh, this update was huge, therefore it could have included something more. No, it was huge, so it makes sense there isn't any more. What do you mean? New festivals. But even then, you could just say, I think it's so important that Concerned Ape should have held off on the update until he could include this. Like, none of this even... I don't know why I'm even trying to engage with this. In-game features like a prize machine and a bookseller, changes to experience point building, new outfits, crops, and more. And I mention all of this to highlight that this update was far from simple, despite some suggesting otherwise in discussions. Right, if it was super simple, you could be like, so he should have had time to do our update that we wanted and we're trying to force him to do. If you're like, this is huge, this is a huge undertaking he achieved, therefore he could have easily done more. Not in the same time frame. Not in the same time frame. I've seen arguments about Concerned Ape's workload with Haunted Chocolatier and other updates, Haunted but if he could manage all of these additions that weren't necessities, then improving- It's a video game, literally nothing is necessary. If he pushed an update that totally broke it for everyone, you could argue it's necessary to, to have it be a functioning product. Adding any new stuff is on- it's a toy. Game inclusivity shouldn't have been too burdensome. What I find puzzling, and this isn't unique to Stardew Valley, but applies broadly, is game developers' choice to gender their games. In reality, this decision complicates matters for them. They could opt for a single set of gender-neutral language allowing all players to immerse themselves in the game without limitations. What if that's not your concern, though? Why is that good? Are you a corpo? Is the goal of any creation just to be consumable without friction? What if I'm... As people are already saying in chat, of course. Oh, okay, you person who cares about people being recognized. What if you are so strongly attached to your identity that you need to be referred to in a certain way? And being referred to neutrally isn't enough. Hey, you know what? I love that the, the, the galaxy brain solution is, hey, it would be so much easier if just instead of having to add the stuff I demand you add, just have all games be what I ask for to begin with. Even if that doesn't cover everyone else. You can't make this argument. I could. You can't. If you're arguing from a position that people need their specific identity to be recognized in any game where they can make a ca character that they can claim represents themselves, this argument doesn't work. This approach would require coding only one dialogue set. While Stardew Valley already has two dialogue sets due to its age, this point is more pertinent for newer games. Concerned Ape would then face two options. Either eliminate one of the current gendered options, using the remaining one as a gender-neutral choice for all players, essentially removing gender distinctions for the farmer, or add a third gender-neutral option. In an ideal scenario... They can also do nothing, though. Concerned Ape could just also just not do either. Leave it as it is. 
No players would have the freedom to select their preferred pronouns and gender terms, as is offered by the gender neutral mod. However, I don't believe most players expect this level of customization from Concerned Ape, considering the challenges of modifying an established game with years worth of code. What do you expect then? Do you literally just want an ability to have instances of he or she switched to they? Just don't be a baby and pretend it says they. The petition description outlines the significance of having gender neutral options in games like Stardew Valley, but I would like to share a personal perspective, especially for those who may not have trans or gender nonconforming individuals in their lives. To convey this point, let me describe how I typically explain the importance of correct pronouns and avoiding misgendering to people close to me. I once had a friend who struggled with using my pronouns correctly and seemed afraid that I would no longer want to be her friend because using my pronouns because of these mistakes. I reassured her that, well, I wouldn't end our friendship over mistakes. They did affect the depth of our connection. And what I mean is, I find it challenging to be fully open and- How often is your friend talking about you in third person? I don't believe you go to parties. I'm sorry, I don't. How often are you in a group with that friend? In a situation where they are talking to someone else about you, having to refer to you in the third person without using your name, how often do you hear that person use a third person pronoun to refer to you? Vulnerable with someone who doesn't respect my identity. This can make me more guarded, which is why many queer and trans individuals seek out communities where they don't have to constantly explain themselves. There's a misconception perpetuated by some right wing individuals that queer and trans people will. No, 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 no. Third person pronouns get used outside of your presence, French Lord. Uh, sorry, within your presence, for sure. Um, I guess on a Discord server, you might have it. Like, so, so and so, so and so said this. He was being an idiot. Right? Or in real life, you might be in a, you might be in a larger group of people and someone's talking to someone else and they refer to you and you go like, yo, he went to Texas last week. I personally couldn't possibly imagine caring if someone referred to me as she or they as well. Just. I guess this is what they mean. You know, they say like fragile masculinity when you have to constantly assert your masculinity because actually you're, you're insecure in your identity as a man. Why isn't this shit called like fragile white girlism or something? Like <laughs> fragile non-binarism. Fragile femininity is fragile trans femininity when you constantly need to, your identity to be asserted because you're and you get all fucked up over it not being respected. It's the same shit as what's called fragile masculinity. They have a theory for this and they say it's bad. Crumble when misgendered. Speaking from my own experience, that's just typically not the case. Everyone reacts differently to being misgendered, and it's valid to feel impacted by it, even significantly so. I'm simply sharing my personal viewpoint here. For me, it's akin to me introducing myself as B to you, but you consistently call me Bob thereafter. It's not particularly harmful, but it does make me feel unheard and disrespected until you acknowledge my correct name. This can influence how close I feel comfortable being okay. with you because it signals a lack of understanding about who I am as a person. For me Cool, okay, sure. We're talking about a video game where you make a character to puppeteer. For me, gender representation in video games mirrors this experience. It doesn't ruin the game, especially if it's one I'm really excited about but it does disrupt the immersion. Many players, myself included, enjoy games to escape and imagine different lives, and when we can't see ourselves- I play it to escape and imagine different lives, that's why it has to be exactly like my life. ...as represented, it hinders our ability to fully engage and relax in that immersive experience. And this issue also extends beyond gender and sexuality. Right, but that's like, um... That's like a really ill way of engaging with games. <laughs> My- I use video games to dissociate. I use video games to pretend I am somewhere else. I create a character in a game that is literally me and I pretend I exist in that world. That's like Fight Club. Find your happy place. 
sexuality. It's also evident when Black, Indigenous, and people of color express feeling underrepresented in games lacking options for skin tones, hair, clothes, and more that reflect their communities and cultures. Frankly, Stardew Valley faces a diversity problem on a larger scale not limited to gender representation for trans and gender nonconforming players. There's a Ooh! Is Queerly B gonna bring up the, like, the... <laughs> I laugh every time I've started a new Stardew save, I laugh, because every time, I don't know if this is hard-coded or if I just get lucky every time, the black guy called, what, Demetrius, always comes up to me and was like, yo, I need some watermelons to research. I don't know how they got away with that, um, <laughs> but they did, and I haven't seen anyone seriously complain about it notable lack of diversity in the town regarding race with only a few BIPOC characters present. This absence of diversity led to the development of mods like Diverse Stardew Valley. If you're unfamiliar, Diverse okay. Stardew Valley is a mod you need to offer. <laughs> oh god. Diverse, diversity is when women have blue hair. Classic. Classic wide range of ethnic, racial, cultural, gender, and body type diversity among Stardew Valley characters. They added Goku. It introduces modded characters, outfits, and dialogue reflecting these diverse versions of the beloved characters in Pelican Town. The issue here is that diversity shouldn't be relegated to mods. This We're argument not. applies equally to the gender neutral mod. Often when people mention the lack of options- Relegated to mods? What's wrong with mods? If you if you get what you want, you've got it, regardless of where it comes from. Now you're talking about what other people see and what other people do, right? This is about what you want other people to see at this point. This is what you want other people to see and what you want to have them forced to see and forced to make. Since for non-binary farmers, some of them will mention, hey, do you know about this mod that makes your game gender neutral? While this is well-intentioned to inform players about available options, not everybody can utilize mods. This limitation may stem from playing on consoles or having PCs incapable of running mods, a lack of knowledge about modding, or simply no interest in modding their game. Consider the 1.6- They dream of a future where every game has a perfect percentage of of races to reflect real life, but minus like 50% of 50% more of white people. So like reflect demographics of America, but with less white people. And that way, when anyone makes a mod that changes that, they can ban it for being hate speech. They can get it wiped from the internet for being hate speech. That is the fantasy. That is the true fantasy, right? update for instance now unpaid modders must invest their personal time to ensure these mods function with the latest unpaid modders pay them then it's it's you using them and not paying them they're not unpaid by concerned ape you're using their stuff and not paying them pay them then if them not being paid is a problem give them your money update this places an added burden on marginalized players who rely on mods like the Gender Neutral Mod or Diverse Stardew Valley. They have to wait until the mods are updated, assuming they even get updated, to en- Wait, the burden? This burden? Having to wait for people to do work for free is a burden on me. Having to wait for people to modify a digital toy to be more to my liking is a burden on me as a human being. I'm literally disgusted. Enjoy their game again. Furthermore, these mods are often- I can't enjoy this game unless someone else does the work for me for free. Often developed by marginalized players themselves, and it's concerning how this unpaid labor is pushed onto them because otherwise they won't have options available to them to feel represented in their favorite games. The argument is- Concerned Ape won't do the thing you want to make the game more fun. Therefore, he is forcing you to do unpaid labor to have fun. Play a different game then. Literally just play a different game. And like, if, if you don't... My understanding was that there are modders who enjoy doing the modding. They enjoy doing the modding, right? Isn't that something people get into that? Am I crazy? The slave labor of tweaking a fucking video game to be cool in a way I like.
Ultimately, what I truly do believe is that Concerned Ape has a problem with how tightly he controls his game. The I'm going to have a seizure. I'm literally going to have a seizure. He lets you mod it. D should he just give you the IP? Guess what? If Concerned Ape went fully democrat uh, democratic on his IP and had to do what people told him, your 8,000 people would do even less than nothing. You would be swamped by other requests, you moron. The lack of diversity in gender, sexuality, race, culture, etc. I think reflects his decision to primarily develop the game on his own without seeking assistance. Yeah. From what I know- That's really cool! No, and, and I could be wrong. Concerned Ape is a cisgender, heterosexual white man, which inevitably means that he may have blind spots, as we all do. The he may have blind spots. However- Actually arguing- Is this going down the path of you cannot solo develop because a solo developer cannot be diverse? We're actually doing this? You can't be a solo dev. That's unacceptable. I'm entitled. You are not allowed to make something you want to make even if you are doing it alone. You have to pay me. You have to make what I want and you have to pay me. No matter what. Even if you didn't intend to hire anyone else and you wanted to do it on your own. Fuck off forever. I hate this person. I hate Queerly B. Just because of that. However, there exists an entire field dedicated to marginalized individuals reviewing books, media, and games for cultural sensitivity and diversity. Concerned Ape's reluctance to collaborate with such individuals, as far as I can tell from an external perspective, is evident in the product that he has created. Will yeah, 20 million people bought it. Yeah, his decision not to do that, it really is evident in the product. People like it. People love it. As the petition says, it's often described as one of the greatest games of all time. Yeah, it's... <laughs> hey, if you're gonna say it's evident in the product, okay, diversity fucking sucks then, is your argument. Hey, as long as you don't include consultants, you can make a game on your own that sells 20 million copies. Nice one, Queerly B. Good, good rhetoric, Queerly B, you genius, not retarded individual at all. Will I stop playing Stardew Valley? No, I don't- Then who gives a shit? You lose. This product is literally poison that kills trans people made by an evil white man who wants slavery to come back. Will I stop playing it? No, it's great. Shut up. Forever. Like, like, sew your mouth shut permanently. I don't believe I should have to forfeit enjoying a game because the So you enjoy it? What's wrong with it then? What's the problem with it? You, you told us that this update was so crucial. The developer fails to acknowledge his community base. Furthermore, I think it's important that we take the- Community base. 8,000 signatures, by the way. 20 million copies sold. Allegedly. I'm trusting their numbers, which is probably a mistake. Time to critique and give constructive criticism for games that we love, too. Not just games that we hate. It may be even more important because we want to see those games and communities get better and more inclusive. That said, if you choose to boycott as a form of protest, I support that decision. Per I, can, I could tolerate you not buying Stardew Valley. I don't think boycotting Stardew Valley is an effective move for all the reasons you've already outlined. Personally, I will be anticipating Haunted Chocolatier as a significant opportunity for communication from Concerned Ape if he hasn't responded by that point. I acknowledge Stardew Valley's age and its status as the first game- Oh, boycott the next game. ...game Concerned Ape created. He likely did not anticipate its massive success. However, it's evident that many individuals have taken the time to educate him on the importance of diversity in his game. If he continues with the same approach in Haunted Chocolatier, i.e. the game is lacking in diversity because he doesn't ask for any help. I personally- I- this is- I can't take this. Being against someone making a game on their own. A moral stance against someone making something as an individual. It's not even you only hire white people, it's being a white person alone is not okay. It is not okay to be white on your own. Jesus Christ! doubt that I'll play.
please feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. But let's keep the dis spoiler. They don't mean that discussion respectful. Any hateful comments will be removed to maintain a safe space for trans and gender nonconforming players to express their thoughts and perspectives. This video was inspired by my earlier video on early access and its potential negative impact oh on games. I've realized my enjoyment in creating more video essay type content. Wait, early access is exactly what you want. If you want to pressure a dev into making changes, early access titles are where you could succeed, where you're most likely to succeed. About the gaming industry, if you have any other topics related to cozy games or content creation that you'd like me to discuss, please leave your ideas in the comments below. I really appreciate your input. And if no, you'd you like don't. to see more of these videos, let's please. I guarantee you would not appreciate my input, even if I said it politely. As hard as that is to do. Don't worry, I was already going to read the first comment on the video. I will be deleting any comments that are from trolls or are directly transphobic or hateful. I will also be deleting any comments from people not acting in good faith. <laughs> I.e. actually trying to share their different perspective without being rude. Bad faith is when you are rude. Uh, <laughs> apparently. As well as those who comment when they've clearly not watched the whole video. I never said Concerned Ape is transfer. In fact, I said we don't have enough information to make that judgment. However, cringe. Get rid of that E. No E there. Uh, however, I did say that due to his lack of communication, it leaves people to try and interpret his silence on their own. Ooh, some may interpret the silence as possibly transphobia, which is fair. Um, I didn't say it's, I didn't say he's transphobic, I just said it's fair to say he's transphobic. Uh, it's fair to wonder and worry that could be a possibility. I personally think it's probably due to the fact that he has limited time and resources as a developer, and refuses to let go of some control over his game and hire some help. All these people he's not hiring, all these people he, who would make the game perfectly well into your perfect image of a game, all those people he's not hiring, um, get them together and you pay them to make the game you want. There's a website called Kickstarter. There's Indiegogo. Get those people together you think you should hire and have them just make something instead of parasitizing something a guy made on his own. I love Stardew Valley. In this circumstance, because if you say, just make it on your own, and they're like, I can't, it's like, why not? Concerned Ape did. <laughs> Concerned Ape did it. Coders and sensitivity readers who can make the diverse representation in this game better and more authentic. I don't care if a game is authentic or not. Sometimes authenticity adds to or something. Sometimes it might detract from it. Sometimes the authentic choice is the wrong choice. Sometimes making something more like it is in reality, is actually the incorrect choice for a creative work. Uh, but that's my interpretation of his silence. Um, what is it? Am I crazy? What's it? What's that thing called? That kind of... The fantasy... The fantasy architecture. A capriccio. A capriccio. An architectural fantasy. Yes, placing together buildings, archaeological ruins, and other architectural elements in fictional and often fantastical combinations. Where it draws heavily from real life and, and makes it look real, but is also f fictionalized. It breaks the rules, right? Authentic to its real life counterpart. I think that's what they mean when they say that. That is what they mean, Dirty Pure. Yes, that's not necessarily the right choice for a creative work, is what I'm saying. There is no objective value in something being accurate to real life unless that accuracy is chosen for a reason and succeeds in your goal that you had in mind. Accuracy for accuracy's sake is like value neutral. Is the, does that make something good? Having a hyper-realistic Chinese person in your game. What's the game? What's the context? What are you trying to get across? Maybe it being authentic is the wrong move for what you're trying to do. Everyone is entitled to make their own interpretation of why he chose not to include them in the game, and if he doesn't want people speculating, then he should speak up and be direct and actually own up to his perspective. But that's his choice. Watch the video and really listen before you comment things that don't even make sense to what I said. Oh, we have autism alarm, autism alarm, even beyond my autism. Okay, let's go. Dr. Bo7i853 says, the content in question is remarkably devoid of humor, charm, or any elements that might elicit a sense of amusement or joy. 
it falls short of meeting the basic expectations associated with comedic material, lacking the cleverness, wit, or playful nature typically found in entertaining content. Upon closer examination, one cannot help but notice the stark absence of comedic appeal or engaging attributes that would normally invoke laughter or even a smile. The content seems to take itself seriously, offering no respite or light-heartedness that would be expected from something meant to entertain. In essence, this material fails to deliver the fundamental aspects of comedy. It lacks the necessary ingredients that would make it enjoyable or compelling for an audience seeking humorous content. As a result, it can be described as distinctly unfunny and unappealing from a comedic standpoint. To summarize, the content's inability to evoke amusement or entertainment highlights its shortcomings in the realm of humor. It presents itself as flat and uninspired, leaving much to be desired in terms of engaging the audience or providing any semblance of comedic value. In the business, we call this a shitpost. Possibly, as Chat is saying, spat out by an AI. Queerly B decided to respond. This is a very strange comment. The video wasn't intended to be humorous? It was a conversational video where I was sharing my thoughts in order to evoke conversation. One of my favorite spells you can learn as a, as a warlock in D&D 5th edition. Uh, evoke conversation with those who might think differently than me and connection with others who might feel similarly. Also, I'm autistic. <laughs>